Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are going to crack open some packs of Eevee Heroes, the latest Pokemon card set to hit Japan. The cards in this set will most likely be released in Evolving Skies, the upcoming English set later this year. So yeah, let's get a preview of Evolving Skies. Eevee Heroes, like the name suggests, is all about Eevee and all of the different Eeveelutions. For this set, the cards you are going to want is going to be all of the secret rare alternative art, and there's a lot of them. All of the Eeveelutions get some love with alternative art versions of all of them, and I can't pick a favorite. If I had to choose one, I think my favorite will have to be the Vaporeon alternative art. I think that one is really slick. Although I think the Sylveon and the Leafeon are a strong second. You really can't go wrong. This is not the booster box. This is the promo package that was released with the set. We will be opening up some Eevee Heroes booster boxes later. This promo box is very Americanized. I'm actually surprised how much it looks like an English uh, product because of the uh, plastic packaging, how flashy and large it is. The Japanese side rarely do products like this, but I think this is really cool. Inside of this product, you get yourself eight EV Heroes packs, as well as one guaranteed VMAX card featuring either Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Espeon. And so, yeah, let's crack this baby open and let's see if we can find ourselves some alternative arts. This promo bar cost me like $100, uh, which is well above retail, but I wanted to show you guys this product as soon as possible, and this was the fastest way to get it to me. And honestly, if you were to buy it right now, I think you can probably get it for around $50 to $60. I haven't seen it on Amazon. If I do, I will give you guys a link down in the description just because it's the easiest way, the easiest like no, no hassle way of getting uh, Japanese booster packs inside of America. But overall, I think this is going to be a really challenging set. So I've done some research and it looks like all of the alternative art cards are going for, you know, well upwards of $200. Some of them are being listed for, you know, $300 to $400. So I imagine that these cards are going to be extremely challenging to get inside of each Japanese EV Hero booster pack, you're going to get yourself a total of five Pokemon cards, and the odds of one of them being the Secret Rare EV Lucians is going to be very, very challenging. But if we do get one, boy, it's going to be a lot of value. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to kick my chair as if I'm unlisted leaf or something. So let's check it out. Okay, first booster pack, nothing too crazy. I think we'll open up four Eevee Heroes booster pack and then we'll go into the VMAX promo card, which is kind of unusual and I'll explain it a little bit later because it doesn't have a promo number. This VMAX card is part of its own set, which I find really weird. Ooh, we do get a hit and we get ourselves the single strike Ichigeki Entei. All right, that's pretty cool. That is a very nice Entei art. Haven't seen Entei in a while, so I dig that. Oh my gosh, my boy from um, Ruby and Sapphire made it into the, into the set. That's really cool. I'm glad Ruby and Sapphire starting to get some, some love again. We got Blaziken in, um, inside of Chilling Rain, so they might go through all the other starters as well. So that's pretty neat. Man, that is a very interesting uh, art design. This is like this is like going way back. This feels like an original Pokemon card art. Back in the day, the Pokemon card art always looked really obscure like this. There were quite a few of them. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the gorgeous Eevee card. I think this card being the common slot is really fantastic. Makes total sense for uh, the Eevee hero set to be inside of Evolving Skies. You can see Rayquaza in the background right there. Rayquaza also being in an upcoming set. And let's see, Oof, nothing too good. We got our, I don't know what these are. I think these are like little instructional cards. I think these are inside of the Japanese booster packs to weigh the packs down so that you can't uh, figure out which packs have the best cards. Uh, this was not really an issue in Japan until recently, 
but it makes sense now. I mean, the Japanese packs are so light, they're very easy to weigh, in all honesty, with only five cards. One of the VMAX cards would easily weigh the whole entire booster pack down. We got ourselves another holo rare, nothing too fancy so far. So let's jump into the VMAX pack. Yeah, I had a feeling that this would happen. I imagine the secret rare evolutions are all so incredibly challenging to get. I mean, they're going for, you know, hundreds of dollars. So I'm, I'm a little bit less excited for Eevee Heroes. I think it's going to be a very challenging set to get because of the pull rates. So we'll just have to open up a lot more of this set and see for ourselves. We got ourselves the Espeon V Max. That was the one I wanted out of the four for sure. I think the Espeon V Max looks the coolest out of the four. Although I did critique these cards, I did say that all of the Gigantamax versions of the Evolutions, uh, they don't look that cool to me. I mean, it, it's Espeon. It's, it's Espeon. What can I say? It's a bigger version of Espeon. You you can hardly tell that it's a Gigantamax version. You know, a V Max version. They really could have done a little bit more with the designs to make them look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more different you know like with cars like blast toys charizard all having very unique gigantamax version they could have done something more interesting with the evolutions that's why one critique however espion is the one i wanted for sure and this was the odd thing that i wanted to mention it's numbered four out of four which is <laughs> Why is it number four out of four? I don't know. Did it really need to be its own set? Probably not. We got ourselves a bunch of Psychic Holographic Reverse Energy. So if I ever wanted to play Espeon VMAX, I have that option. So we are guaranteed ourselves one of the evolutions in the VMAX form, which is really neat. I appreciate that. Onwards to the next four booster packs. Let's see if we can find ourselves a secret rare alternative art card and yeah that'd be pretty darn wild overall the rest of the set looks to be pretty generic and we got ourselves the ultra rare um vaporeon v that's a cool one as well i think all of the artworks inside of this set looks really fantastic yeah even like the regular art versions are really cool so there's our second evolution card Put it right back there in the back and we got four more uh three more booster packs from this set so let's keep on moving man with how much hype this set got i would i say it's worth it hmm oh my gosh it is worth it oh my gosh it's worth it there it is <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding okay we got very smoking lucky with that box wow fantastic the Vaporeon V Alternative Art. I did say I thought this one was the most gorgeous one. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. Talk about getting me speechless. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. A really fantastic holographic reverse card. Really, really gorgeous. My goodness. They did a fantastic job with these alternative art. It is completely texturized. The centering looks really good. I might, actually I'm pretty confident I'm gonna grade this card. So I just wanna be extra careful with it, making sure that the card looks really solid. Most of the Japanese cards do very well when it comes to grading. Oh my goodness. Yeah, really fantastic card. So. We're gonna sleeve this baby up right away. Always have some sleeves ready. That is one of my recommendation. Do not open up booster packs unless you know you have protection at the ready. You know, same with everything, just like it was back in college. You always have protection. So yep, I'm gonna sleeve and top load up this card because boy, uh, talk about an expensive card. We're gonna have to do that right away. All right, on to the next booster pack. All right, so I didn't kick my chair as if, as if I was like Ando, but you know what? I was pretty shaking. I was trembling. That was such a cool hit by far. Uh, yeah, I will say the alternative art. Oh my gosh, here's, here's the Pikachu card that I also wanted to pull. It is so weird looking. I mean, it is definitely Pikachu, but the artist really went 
in an interesting direction with this Pikachu. I do dig it. Uh, yeah, the alternative arts are extremely challenging pulls, so if you do get one, I'm not gonna fret you for kicking your chair because, dang it, they are hard pulls. That was a really solid hit. Didn't expect it at all. Well worth the box value on its own, and of course, I'm definitely gonna keep that card, get it graded. But yeah, great hit makes the purchase for this box being at $100 totally worth it. But I will say, if you open up a whole entire booster box of EV heroes, you're guaranteed to get one secret rare. Although there are so many secret rares inside of EV heroes, the odd of you, odds of you getting one of them being the alternative art by itself is still challenging. I think it's like one in three EV heroes booster box, maybe one in four. So the odds are very, very low. However, we did a, a fantastic job of this pack opening and I'm really happy with the results of it. Let me know if you guys want to see me open up some more EV heroes. I will definitely open up some more because I really enjoy this set and I think I want to see a lot more of the evolutions. Holy smokes, this card is so freaking gorgeous. I think I did a fantastic job of picking it as my favorite. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite. There is a bunch of really gorgeous one. I will have a link down in the descriptions to all the different alternative art versions and all the secret rares from EV Heroes. So you can get your own pick for which one you want to pull inside of your booster pack. There will be a lot more EV Heroes packs products coming out later this year so don't fret this is a very early first look but there will be a lot more of these products coming out later this year in fact i'm sure there will be plenty enough for everyone thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time